This is Africa's Sahara Desert, and what the Chinese government is building in these sand dunes will absolutely shock you. In the past, the desert posed a massive challenge for northern African countries. Harsh weather conditions created sandstorms that threatened major sub-Saharan cities, destroyed farmlands, buried villages, and forced people to abandon their homes. But now, China and the African government are planning to use these sand dunes to host the concept of the Great Green Wall of Africa, which involves an ambitious environmental initiative to combat desertification, deforestation, and land degradation in Africa. It aims to create a massive strip of greenery across the continent, stretching from the Atlantic Ocean to the Red Sea. Till today, the Chinese government has pledged $150 million to support and participate in this project, providing funding, expertise, and resources to help African nations implement sustainable land restoration and afforestation efforts. This collaboration reflects China's commitment to global environmental cooperation and its vision to address ecological challenges beyond its own borders. So the question is, what makes this Great Green Wall of Africa so remarkable, and why President Xi Jinping wants to invest millions of dollars into it? Let's find out. Before we dig into it, make sure you hit the like button. Your likes mean the most to us and plays a crucial role in helping us reach a wider audience, connecting with more like-minded individuals, just like you. So, please take a moment to like the video and let's get started. The Great Green Wall of Africa is an ambitious initiative aimed at combating desertification and land degradation in the Sahel region of Africa. The Sahel is a vast semi-arid region that stretches across 21 countries, from Senegal in the west to Djibouti in the east. It faces severe environmental challenges, including desertification, droughts, and loss of fertile land, leading to food insecurity and migration. In 2007, the visionary African Union proposed an audacious plan to create a living barrier of trees and vegetation to halt the relentless southward march of the Sahara Desert and reclaim degraded lands. This awe-inspiring project aims to restore a staggering 100 million hectares of land by 2030, marking it as one of history's most significant ecological restoration efforts in an extraordinary display of support. Now, China pledged an astounding $150 million to assist African nations in their fight against desertification and land degradation. As a front-runner in technology and innovation, China brings its technical expertise, cutting-edge technologies, and abundant resources to the table, all aimed at ensuring the success of this ambitious green vision. This collaboration transcends environmental benefits alone. It embraces the profound social and economic impacts. By breathing life back into the land and promoting sustainable practices, the Great Green Wall aims to create job opportunities, improve food security, and enhance the livelihoods of local communities in the region. However, the desertification of African lands is considerably more frightening than you think. Nigeria, a country of vibrant culture and natural beauty, is now facing an urgent and alarming challenge, which is the rapid spread of the desert. This once fertile land, adorned with rich biodiversity, is now grappling with the risk of desertification. The serious environmental disaster threatens the livelihoods of millions in Nigeria's northern outskirts. According to Nigerian media sources, the unrelenting Sahara Desert is steadily engulfing more than 10 states, including the important Kano state. This perilous desertification has affected an area of around 580,000 square kilometers, or more than 40% of Nigeria's entire geographical area. The consequences are huge, particularly for people who depend on agriculture and animal husbandry. Communities in northern Nigeria are dealing with decreasing food and water supplies, which is a nightmare. Many Nigerians have a close connection to the land they cultivate, and the animals they rear. However, the continuous march of desertification has upset nature's delicate balance, leaving millions in desperate need. Desertification costs the economy a startling amount of money. Data show that the battle against this growing threat results in staggering annual losses of more than $500 million. Local agriculture and animal husbandry suffer the most as grasslands deteriorate under the hot desert heat and once thriving farms yield less. But the consequences of desertification go beyond economic losses. Poverty deepens, and social stability teeters on a fragile edge. Entire communities find themselves grappling with uncertainty and upheaval. But the harsh reality, which is hard to accept is, even countries who had promised to help Africa, like the US and Europe, seem to be turning a blind eye to the urgent crisis unfolding in northern Nigeria and other affected regions. Considering the urgency of the situation, France stood as a steadfast ally, offering a helping hand to Nigeria in its battle against desertification. In 2019, a thrilling partnership took shape, known as the Desertification Control and Reversal Project. The French International Development Agency 
and the Nigerian government joined forces with an inspiring investment of 54 million euros. Their bold vision to halt and even reverse the lethal spread of desertification in northern Nigeria, employing innovative approaches like enhanced land management and sustainable agriculture. With this groundbreaking collaboration, a wave of hope washed over both nations, igniting dreams of a greener and more sustainable future. But as time whisked by, a new chapter unfolded. The French embassy in Nigeria has announced another initiative called Green Nigeria to combating desertification and restoring the land. A brilliant initiative, promising an additional investment of 10 million euros to escalate the fight against desertification in the north. The possibility for enormous environmental and economic benefits was alluring, with 86,000 square kilometers of dark landscape set to be rehabilitated by 2030. However, as with any great endeavor, obstacles stood in their path. Due to the large investment required to fund these projects and its long payback period, France's domestic construction in Nigeria has not been as expected. As a result, France and Nigeria can only delay down the funding and construction of desert control projects. Yet, as the challenges loomed large, so did the reality of Nigeria's environmental struggles. The race to manage the relentless spread of desert was on, an endeavor demanding immediate and unyielding action. Seeking new partners to stand shoulder to shoulder in this formidable battle, Nigeria's quest for support and collaboration became an urgency like never before. In the realm of desert control, China emerges as an indispensable partner that Nigeria cannot afford to overlook. Boasting rich technical expertise and financial strength, China has achieved remarkable success in combating desertification. It's no wonder they have naturally become a reliable ally for Nigeria in this crucial endeavor. China's desert control ability has been observed in their victory in recovering the once infamous Mouse Desert. Furthermore, they actively provide their expertise to nations such as Saudi Arabia, Mongolia, and others, all working together to control the unforgiving desert. In March 2023, China and Nigeria joined forces, sealing the deal with the Sahara Greening Initiative, a powerful cooperation plan that has garnered widespread attention. Under this groundbreaking initiative, China's Water Conservancy and Hydropower Engineering Bureau Company Limited are set to embark on an important mission with a staggering investment of $150 million. The project will be located in Kano State of Nigeria. The ambitious plan unfolds with the creation of a 27-kilometer-long artificial canal system ingeniously connecting the desert areas with inland water resources. It's a visionary solution, breathing life into the parched land and revitalizing the region with much-needed irrigation and drinking water. The impact of this artificial canal system goes beyond quenching thirst. It will be a game-changer for Kano State's agricultural production. Local farmers can now embrace improved conditions for cultivating their lands, leading to bountiful harvest and a surge in agricultural prosperity. This canal system acts as a powerful weapon in the battle against desert governance. As the desert retreats, the local environment will undergo a magnificent transformation, opening doors to new opportunities and a greener future for Nigeria. Tycoon Territory